brilliant. Hello there. Passing through, are you? Always nice to have visitors. Gosh, what wonderful people. Lisa, can you kick this ball with me? All my brothers and sisters are no longer with us. Sure I can, lad. And you can call me Rome. Okay, thank you, Mr. Roman. I'll be goalie. Here I am. Okay, kick it, Mr. Roman. Go for the goal! Goal! Oh, no. Sir, we've heard so much about you. Please, may I shake the hand of one so bold? What? All oh, right. We are here to find a young gal called... Look, what? What do you want? Can I have my hand back now? <laughs> Much appreciated. We're looking for a girl called Lily. We believe her grandfather brought... You? Jonesy? Rome? What are you doing here? Long story. Here, follow me and I'll explain. So, there you have it. Roman, you're a big fat liar. You think so? Here, have a look yourself. Damn, I wish it would stop doing that. <clears throat> and Arnos Atrium, son of Cucum Staff, came unto Ned and gave him the corn cob. And he said, with this corn cob, go forth and spread the word about corn. And all the world was glad, for it was small and had a wonderful yellow colour. Yeah, what's she on about? I don't know. Something to do with corn. Families named their children and pets corn. Farmers named their vegetables corn. And much confusion abounded, but never did their love for the corn falter. Yeah, that's good. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, maybe try a different section now. And the protectors came upon Lily in a garden where corn did grow. Oh, please. And offered her the book. No, no, this is it. And she spake loud and bold of the Majorcan prophecy, for the book and she were one. Look, just tell us if there's a reward for doing this malarkey. Bounteous rewards awaited the protectors if they could fulfill the prophecy by leading Lily to the sacred ruin of Jerosa. So we... Have to take her to Jerosa. And Jonesy said unto the others, Shall we have to take her to Jerosa? For he was rather dim-witted and didn't quite understand what everyone else had already deduced. What? Bastard! And Jonesy, feeling embarrassed by his own ineptitude, stood forth and spewed profanities at the book. Such were the size of his tiny testicles. <laughs> They should call it the Book of Truth. <laughs> it appears I have been chosen to lead this great land of ours. Rome, Jonesy, Q, and Rexis, it is my honour to have you as my protectors. Protectors? Lads, this will be our finest hour. Grandfather, you are home. I'm going to be stepping out for a bit. Please don't wait up. Uh, big birds in the sky! Big, real big birds! Black birds swooping down! Oh, Jimmy will be scared! Hey! All right, he started early. Oh, the birds coming! Look out in the sky! Wait, me. he's right. Sort of. Zeppelins! The village is under attack! Shrub Patrol! Guard this girl with all your... Hey, sorry, we don't protect humans. Her name's Lily, and she's a big fan of flowers. We will guard her with our lives. Stick, uh, you talk to Henry. Q, take this. Now, I want you all to get inside the house and keep your heads down. Come on! <laughs> 